A Brief History of Trinidad and Tobago The Amerindians The Amerindian cultures of the Caribbean grew out of the tropical forest Indian culture. They extended all the way from the upper Amazon basin in Peru to Venezuela to the West Indies. The two major language families were called the Caribs and the Arawaks. The Arawaks were known to be more peaceful and settled into farming communities. The Caribs were described as being warlike. They moved around more and were never as civilized as the Arawaks. Historical records show that several different tribes of Amerindians populated Trinidad for as many as 6,000 years before the arrival of Columbus in 1498. The Amerindians were nature worshippers. They believed the Great Spirit was the God they could not see. They believed everything in nature had its own life and should be treated with respect. They had rituals for almost everything, including the birth of a child. Amerindian cuisine is still enjoyed today by many Trinidadians. Cuisines such as cassava bread, barbecued wild game, and corn pasteles. Parang music, which is popular at Christmas time in Trinidad, is a hybrid of Spanish and Amerindian musical styles. The African influence. Before the 1780s, there were just a few African slaves in Trinidad. The Amerindian population was rapidly shrinking. They were now being captured by the Spanish colonists, who were transporting them to other islands, such as Cuba, Haiti, Dominican Republic, and Jamaica. By the 1780s, plantations grew with the arrival of the French and other Catholic settlers like the Dutch. Sugar and cotton was being grown, and the need for African slave labor increased. More Africans from other islands arrived with their owners. They were first, second, third generation, born in the Caribbean. They were French or Spanish speaking and considered valuable by their masters. By 1797, the English had conquered Spain and Trinidad was now under British rule. Soon, more slaves were brought in from the African continent. It was a hard life for the slaves. By 1834, slavery was completely abolished by the British Empire. On August 1st, 1838, full freedom was granted to the slaves in Trinidad and Tobago. As the older Africans passed away, the dominant population consisted of Creoles, people of African descent mixed with French, Spanish, and English. Tobago's experience, however, was slightly different to Trinidad's. Plantations were set up and sugar was the main crop. The majority of the population was African and many of the planters did not live on the island. When slavery was abolished in 1834, the economy suffered. And because of this, in 1889, the British merged Tobago with Trinidad. Both islands gained independence from England in 1962. Today, the African influence is still present in our music, dance, religion, language, and food. Robust stews and one-pot comfort foods have been refined to create signature dishes like pelau, macaroni pie, and hearty soups. The East Indian and Asian influence. From the 1830s to 1917, after slavery was abolished, Landowners imported thousands of laborers from China and the Middle East. Starting in 1845, they were replaced by laborers from India. At one point, over 170,000 laborers were working on vast sugarcane and cocoa plantations. These laborers would sometimes work up to 12 hours in the hot sun under poor conditions. During World War II, large numbers of U.S. soldiers and sailors were posted to Trinidad to build and maintain military bases. Better roads were built and transportation improved. Many rural East Indians for the first time found sources of income outside of the cane field. Today, East Indians make up a little under half of the island's population. Trinidad's culture is heavily influenced by East Indian culture through festivals such as Diwali, the Festival of Lights, and Pagwa or Holly. 
also through foods such as roti and curries and various Indian desserts. In Trinidad and Tobago, a combination of cultures can be found across the islands. These influences are also present during the Carnival Festival, where a fusion of Amerindian, European, African, Middle Eastern, Asian, and East Indian heritage are all represented. This was a brief history of Trinidad and Tobago.